Hello guys, it's Steven here and today I will be showing you the best Camtasia Studio 8 render and export settings. But, be but before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you want more tutorials like this. Also if you have any questions or, or anything at any point of the video, just drop a comment below and I'll make sure to answer it. For this video, let's aim for 30 likes. So now let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I would do obviously is import my media. So this would be your video, but for now I'll just uh, import maybe Drake right here. So let's drag it into the timeline. This is gonna be your video right here. Okay, so once you're done with the editing part of your video, um, you obviously have to press produce and share it so you get the video. So here you press produce and share. And usually you uh, select a preset one. So if you're like a YouTuber, press share to YouTube. But uh, I'm gonna teach you the best export and render settings, obviously. So, okay, you uh, press produce, yeah, so you, once you're done this, once you're on this page, go ahead and press add and edit at the bottom of the uh, drop down menu, press add and edit presets. Um, here you can add or manage your production presets. What you wanna do is click new right here and type in the preset name, which in this case would be 9, 920 by 1080 um, HD. You don't have to write a description or anything. Select uh, MP4 as the file format and press next. Under this controller settings, um, you don't have to use the controller, so uncheck produce with controller. On the size um, options, keep it the same and for video settings here you keep everything the same except for um, encoding mode um, you can change it a bit rate or quality and just drag up the slider on both so this will give you the highest uh, quality possible but please note this does increase the file size quite a bit next the final the last the final thing you will do is select the highest bit rate possible which is 1024 kbps i'm not sure what that stands for but go and press next and you're all set so what you will notice is is um if you drag your media here pretend i import um a 1080 i mean a 720 video um, you will have to stretch it a bit so let's take my intro for example this is a 720p video and um, what we want to do here is just drag it the aspect ratio is the same so it will keep its aspect ratio so you just have to drag it into the box if it is 720 if it is under 1080p so thank you for watching if you like this video go ahead and like the video comment any questions thanks for watching